Hello, I'm Tara Tuhill. Recently, I called a press conference to respond to the vicious personal attacks my opponent made against me. My opponent has told out and out lies about me and I want to respond to you, the people. My opponent is exactly what is wrong with politics today. I am running a volunteer grassroots campaign fighting for this community about the issues, not a lowly mudslinging campaign that represents the worst of politics today. After 15 years in office, shouldn't my opponent be able to run on his record? Doesn't that seem strange to you that he would have to be negative and throw mud at me? Well, the answer is because he can't run on his record. While I am fighting for you, my opponent is fighting to save his own job. Let's talk about the issues. The people of this district deserve a campaign with a debate about the issues. I am running for office because I am fighting for our area on the issues of jobs, taxes, and government reform. We have a representative who has failed to bring jobs to this area. The people here are starving for work, and I am going to fight to bring home high quality, better paying jobs that are family sustaining. My opponent has voted for every possible tax hike. He wants to raise your gasoline tax. He wants to levy more sales taxes. He wants to tax Interstate 80 when our district sits at the top of the 80s. He promoted a 17% tax increase on your income tax. We deserve better from our government. While Taxum Todd is busy taking your money, he is also busy spending it on himself. He voted himself an illegal pay raise and then never returned the money. He voted himself a pension increase of 50%. He pays himself extra, $27,000 extra last year in per diem money. He took this money and then he bought himself a second home in Harrisburg with your taxpayer money. $27,000. That's more than the average salary in our community. And this is what he gives himself. He doesn't want you to look at his record because he is running from it. So he is attacking me, a dirty mudslinging campaign with mudslinging personal attacks. He is telling you lies about who I am. Let me tell you a little bit more about myself some things that I would normally never talk about. I am 31 years old. I went to Hazleton Area High School. I have not had it that easy. I've had to work hard to get to college. I graduated from Northeastern University in Boston. I was a city clerk and a paralegal before being able to save enough money to go to law school. I graduated from the Dickinson School of Law. I help raise two small children in my family who do not have a mother. And my own mother was sick most of my life and I have taken care of her. And when she needed a kidney to survive, I gave her mine. I live with my family in the house that my grandfather, a coal miner, built. My family, like many in our area, has been hit hard by economic tough times and I work hard to support them. He is asking who I am. I am one of you. I am here today because I want to represent all of us. I am fighting for us, for this community. I have a plan for this community. I have a plan that will bring jobs. Small businesses are the heart of America and they should be the heart of Pennsylvania too. But right now, our small businesses are suffering. We need to create an environment where businesses can grow. We need to cut taxes for the small businessman. We need to cut the corporate tax so that more businesses will come to Pennsylvania. Our corporate tax is one of the highest in the nation. We need to cut the taxes. We were promised property tax relief in exchange for table games. When elected, I intend to find out where that money is going and make good on that promise. Our legislature is out of control 
and my opponent is leading the pack, they are paying themselves extra with your money. I am going to fight for government reform. I am not going to pay myself extra with per diems, which will save thousands and thousands of dollars. I am going to be accountable to you, the taxpayer. I am going to work for you. I'm going to answer your questions. Now, Mr. Eaches is attacking me. It is the lowest of the low, deceitful attacks. Not only is he attacking me, but he is attacking my family. Even if Mr. Eaches will not stop attacking me, I will never stoop as low as he has. Years from now, when this campaign is long forgotten, I will be able to say that I stood up and I fought the good fight for this community and that I was ethical and truthful. Years from now, Mr. Eaches, could you do the same? Mr. Eaches, please stop attacking my family. I am here. If you want to attack my ethics and my character, then come out and discuss it in a public debate. Don't hide behind a spokesman and send mailers, paper attacks. Stand up like a man and debate me. Enough with trying to trick the voters, the paid spokesman that you hide behind, and who talks for you. I'm not asking Mr. Eaches to take bullets or put his life in harm's way as our veterans have done for us. I am merely asking him to find the courage to debate. Do our veterans really want to be represented by a man who does not even have enough courage to accept a debate that I have repeatedly requested since August? Enough with the paper and the mailers and the baseless attacks. Let's discuss the issues. Why won't you debate? What are you hiding? What are you so afraid that you will say? And to you, the people, I would be honored and privileged to serve you. Please vote for me on November 2nd. Thank you.